Hey everyone, so before we jump into today's video, I just want to make a quick announcement. If you didn't catch this announcement in my reindeer watercolor tutorial, I'm going to let you know now that I have opened up my own Etsy shop and currently I am selling some PDF files of prints that I have made. But what I'm most excited about is my holiday watercolor workshop booklet. It goes through things like supplies that I like to use, um, turns and techniques you need to know as a beginner, color theory, color mixing, and then how to paint some of these florals and foliage, and then eventually working on this wreath. So if you haven't picked up a copy, head on over to my Etsy shop in the link below. And that's about it. I hope you guys enjoy it. And I am working on some stuff for the new year, 2020, a whole new booklet with all new stuff. And I can't wait to share that with you. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get right into it. Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to show you how to paint a Christmas bouquet. So let's do it. Okay, so to start, I'm gonna go through all my materials. I have Arches watercolor paper. I have my Winsor Newton Cotton watercolors. I have my Princeton snap brush. I have a size 12 with me and a size six water paper towel and we're ready to go. Okay, so we're gonna be painting some winter floral bouquets um, or Christmas bouquets. And every time I paint florals, I always look up reference photos for inspiration for colors and types of flowers. And I think Pinterest is great for that. So I just looked up Christmas bouquets and I really, really like this like Christmassy green, the dark deep red, and then the white florals with that kind of dusty blue color. Um, I also pinned this one, which is a bit more redder, but I also really like that deep kind of like mahogany, uh, like purpley bit too. So I always look at the type of flowers that are in these bouquets and the colors, and then I kind of just create my own. Um, if you look back at my um, floral composition video, you'll see tips on how to put it together. You can always sketch it out first if you want ideas. Um, but yeah, so I think what I'm going to do is some white roses and then maybe these kind of deep red dahlias with some pine and then these dusty blue berries, maybe do some red berries too. Not really sure where I'm going with this. I'm going to just wing it, <laughs> but we're going to see how this goes. Okay. So I have a nine by nine here. I think it's just easier to do a bouquet on like a square piece of paper, but it's totally up to you. Um, and we're just gonna start. So I'm gonna start with some white flowers. And anytime you're doing white flowers, white always has some sort of undertone to it. So if you look at this rose specifically, you zoom right in, you're gonna see peaches, you're gonna see a bit of yellow maybe, a bit of gray for some of the shadow parts, but you're gonna get that peach, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix up some colors. So here I already have a really, really light blue, which I like to use for most of my white stuff, okay? But you can even add a bit of red. So I already have some reddish peach here. I add a bit here like that. Okay, and it's a bit on the gray side and that's okay. You can do it a little bit more dusty rose if you like but a really, really light wash that you barely see the color, okay? So I'm gonna start off by doing a rose over here. And I usually have like kind of um, a three like flower composition, okay? And then maybe some smaller flowers. So decide what flowers you're doing. I'm gonna have a rose, probably a dahlia, and maybe some sort of like peony-ish shape flower, okay? So I'm gonna start with my rose over here with this really light wash, and it's okay if you don't see it right away. And I'm just gonna do these curved lines with the tip of my brush. I'm gonna add more water. Then I'm gonna do larger curves around it. Now, I know it's hard to see, but we're gonna add a bit more color to it after. And these are just loose, loose flowers. Okay, so you can barely see it, so I might add a bit more pink. You know, I can just dab some in, especially closer to the center. And you're really gonna see more of the color once I add some of the greenery around and it bleeds in. Okay. Like that, you can even add a bit of gray. So I'm gonna get, take a bit of Payne's gray. But a lighter wash of that, really, really light. 
add a bit of shadow in, especially underneath. Like that. Okay. And then I'm going to just start by doing some of the greenery because I want it to bleed into that flower. So I'm going to create a deep green with my Hooker's Green Dark and Dioxazine Purple. This is my go-to green mixture. It's a really nice deep Christmassy green. Okay, and I'm just gonna touch a bit of that rose like that so it bleeds into it. And I'm gonna do maybe some kind of like eucalyptus leaves almost. Okay. So using the shape of my brush light pressure, heavy pressure, light pressure, and then going back over it to evenly spread out that color. Okay. Hmm. I want more to fall down, so I'm just gonna... And I add some more color into some of those. Darken up the stems a bit like that. Okay, and I might add a bit of sap green up here. We might do some pine after, so I'm just gonna, it's already dry, okay. My flower is already dry, that's okay. I'll co probably cover that later, okay. Just really want some of that green to bleed in. Okay, now I'm gonna do my Dahlia. I think that's still wet. I'm gonna create my dark red. So I have Cadmium Red Deep here. And I'm actually gonna take a bit of this green to deepen that red. Okay, and I'm just gonna start by doing some little shapes. And I would like it to bleed into my rose just a bit. It's already started to dry though, so that might be a long shot. And I'm just gonna use the shape of my brush to do these kind of funky petals going around. And I might use the tip of my brush to do some loops is the best way I can describe it. <laughs> okay. Okay, then I'm going to go back in and add some darker bits. Hold on. So I really, I might actually add some purple too, to really deepen this red. Go back into the middle specifically, maybe around there, underneath, just dropping in some of that color. Okay. Like that. Then I'm going to do another white flower up here. So I'm just going to take that really, really light wash here. And while this is, mm, actually, hold on, sorry, <laughs> I'm all over the place. I want it to bleed into that white flower. So I want to make sure that this part that's going to be touching it is still wet. Because I really like the way it looks when the colors bleed into each other. Okay, I might even take a little bit of that red. And I'm just going to do some curvy circles. It's kind of a different perspective of the rose. And then just curve lines, just making it really loose and simple. I might add maybe even a bit of yellow 
just like a tad bit of yellow into the center here. Maybe a bit of that Payne's Gray to get some shadows in there. And now while that's still wet, I'm gonna get some of that greenery and put it over here. So again, we gotta mix up that green and the purple. And while it's still wet, so it bleeds in, I'm gonna create more of those kind of eucalyptus leaves. Like so, okay? Now we're gonna start creating other greenery. Um, maybe we'll do a bit more of the eucalyptus, maybe down here too. But we can always do, I'm, I'm thinking as I go, guys. <laughs> can add a bit of blue. Actually, let's add that dusty blue Color. So I'm just adding some blue to my green from before. And I'm going to create some of those dusty blue berries. Down here. Leaving some white space in them. Might even have some bleed into this flower over here. You can definitely use a smaller brush for this too. I'm gonna add a bit of darkness to some of them like that. And I'll add stems to them after. I think I'm going to add some more green leaves around. More of that eucalyptus down here around the berries. Okay. Now this is looking a little bit uneven, so I want to see where I want to place more of those flowers. Um, I'm going to have some pine coming down, maybe some red berries too. So I'm going to mix up a different green now. I'm going to go a bit brighter. And I'm actually going to take my smaller brush. I may add a bit of the purple just to darken it a bit and I'm just going to draw a line like that and then lines down and we're going to do little pine needles on each of those little stems I think it's cedar correct me if I'm wrong <laughs> I might be that's cedar Just using the tip of your brush and flicking it out. that and then just start to place it wherever you think could use some of that right so I'm gonna make it a bit more symmetrical over here do the same thing I'm gonna turn my paper it's just easier for me to flick it downwards if that makes sense just want to make sure you can see okay Like 
that. Mm. And just kind of step back, take a look. What do you think it needs? I think that needs to be a bit longer. Okay. Now these sides are looking bare, so you could always do like a couple more darker flowers. Maybe we'll do some smaller, let's do some small red berries right here, but like bright red. No, I'm not really making them circular. <laughs> and then you can always, we'll do the stems after. Maybe we'll do a couple more berries on this side. Oh, I had some greenery on my hand. It's all good. Okay, and I think I'm gonna do some more greenery. Maybe I'll do a different type of pine, um, maybe a bit brighter. So let's take some of this sap green with a bit of hooker's green dark. We can even darken it with a bit of blue. Do I like that blue? No, let's warm it up with this blue. Okay, there we go. And maybe we'll do some bigger pine So longer pine needles. Okay, just change it up. I think I want to darken that up. You can even throw a bit, a little bit of brown in there. Add some more to this side. Make it a bit brighter. Like that. And I'm having them curved down. I really like the way it's falling like that. Um, hmm, I think I might add some more blue berries, blueberries over here. So the blue I think I have right here is ultramarine blue. It's a warmer blue mixed with that purpley green bit, okay? And I will do stems on those after. I might even do some smaller white flowers here too. So let's grab this light mix again. Maybe I'll just do some small white flowers like this, just adding some pink. Mm. Too dark. I'm just gonna add some curves. I don't even know what kind of flowers these would be. Just filling up that space. When in doubt, just do some curves. <laughs> Okay, then you can add a bit more color into them if you like. Get some darker green. 
do some small greenery if you like, just to have it bleed into those flowers. You can also do the stems of the berries. Okay, like that. So that side's a bit more full. Now we need to do this side a bit more. I'm kind of liking these berries, so I might do a few more around, but I just want to add these kind of like whitish flowers over here. That was too green. Okay. Again. These are, this is more blue and that's totally fine. Just doing some shapes, maybe some curves again. A bit of pink in there. And then get my green. Some greenery. darker like that and I like those berries so I think I'm gonna do a couple more here maybe some there make it really nice and Christmassy Okay, I think, I think that's pretty good. Um, I'm just gonna quickly dry this area. I want a bit, this has actually ended up a bit more flat. I wanted some more light areas and dark areas and the way it dried, the darkness just kind of spread all over. So I'm gonna make sure it's completely dry and then I'm going to go back in with some dark areas to add a bit more depth. Okay, so now that it's dry, I'm gonna go back in here with some darker colors. So I just want that dark red again. So add some cadmium red deep, bit of green, nice and dark like that. You can always add a bit of purple, want it a bit brighter. Okay, and then I'm just gonna use the shape of my brush to kinda move around some shapes. Going around. like so. You can always do more of those loops. I think I want it even darker in some areas. Like that. Okay. So there's that, it just adds a bit more texture. And then this rose too is looking a little bit flatter. So I'm gonna take a bit of Payne's Gray, like a little, little bit, and just create another layer of some, what's it called, petals. Really lightly though, okay? Just doing some curves around. It just creates more of a shadow. Still leaving those white areas. And then a bit more in the middle, I think. And it just makes it a bit more 3D. Because I did it on that one, I think I'm gonna do it on this one too. Another skill that requires a lot of practice is creating light washes. I feel like sometimes we try to create a really light wash and then you're like looking like this isn't gonna show up. Trust me, it will. You just need to kind of just trust that that paint, that pigment is in there to make it really light. Cause I find sometimes we go a little darker than we want. Okay. And I think, I think that's it. And there is your Christmas bouquet. Thank you all so much for watching my video. I really hope you liked it and I hope you learned something. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram for more. Have a great day, guys. Bye. It's not a hairbrush. It's a paintbrush. You paint with it. Hey. Ow. Oh, ow. Hey. Oh, I'm going to lose an eye. <laughs>